What should we build, actually? We'll do um, like a markdown formatter. MD, uh, we'll call it viewer. MD viewer. A UI is pretty straightforward, but you know, if we want to do something there, that like, it'll still increase the build times and things like that. Yeah. Because like I'm on a Mac, and so then we'd use the command line for um, Xcode, and all that works. I've I've done various things there. It just like increases the, the amount. Of yeah, time. I know, I know. Yeah. So I'll just start. I'll start launching Gemini. I have a version from Source, so I have a little bit more info coming on. Uh, you can see I have a lot of MCP servers. I'm not really using any of those for this, um, but we'll start with. Uh, this, it can be very plain English. I like. I want to build a um, command line markdown viewer. Um, it should oh, uh, paginate long markdown files. Um, have some syntax highlighting. Um, and I'll I'll say uh, does not include any editing editing features. Yeah, it so makes things start, easier. I'll just start here, and then one thing I always do with all of these kinds of tools is I say, um, you know, just to start with, I'll see what it comes up with. So I'll say, write me a user guide um, and save it to userguide.md. Um, and then I'll say, um, and I'll, I use a cap stuff that I really care about. I'll say, wait for my review. Oh. Uh, don't write any code yet. And you don't usually have to do this, but I, I just got in the habit of doing it all the time. Uh, and so now it just you know it's gonna it's gonna think about what I gave it, which was very high level. And you know, in in a more real example, I probably have more there that I I put. Um, but then we can just start and see what it comes up with. Sometimes I do this just to kind of see what ideas it has. And so here I know, uh, like the Gemini CLI always lets you decide um, how to use tools, whether to authorize them, you know, once or always during the session. So I'll just say uh, for the session, no problem. And so now it created this user guide. In the Gemini CLI, I can just hit exclamation point and then run a bash command. So I love Zed, which is an editor. And so we'll open up Zed. I will um, share Zed now. So you can see all we have right now is the user guide. Okay, so it's going to say MD view, the file path. It thinks it's simple and elegant. I like that as features. It renders the markdown. Okay, I like that. Space bar, go to the next page, page up, go to the previous page, Q to quit. Okay, that all seems pretty nice. I could modify this in some way. Um, for instance, I could say, let's not call it MD view. Let's call it, you know, um, MD underscore viewer or something like that. So then I'll go back to um, the terminal. Uh, I will now um, say, okay, I like the user guide. Uh, let's build a technical design. So I'll say, you know, let's build a technical design for MD view. Uh, and here I could ask it what programming languages to use. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's see um, what language do you suggest we use? And I usually I almost always uh, ask for options. So I'll say, give me three options and your final recommendation. Um, uh, and after I tell you, we'll write the technical design. So let's see what it comes up with. And it's probably going to say like Go, TypeScript, Python maybe, um, Rust, and we'll, we'll see what it comes up with. And, Oftentimes it'll you know think about this and think about it from like hey what's what's available. So here we can see okay Python because you think you got like things like Rich and Pigments. Uh, Goes nice. The Glamour library is really nice. I love the Glamour library. Um, and for instance, it says hey you know what it's not as flexible as Rich from the Python world, which is nice. Rust uh, be you know obviously be very fast and perform it. Um, and it, you know, there are crates for it, but you know, it's a bit much. And so it says, let's do, let's do Python. I say, okay, Python it is. Uh, let's, uh, author a technical design and save it to arch.md. Uh, uh, and I'll say like here, I'll say be very detailed, just, you know, to reinforce that. And then, cause I'm like a little paranoid about this. Wait for my review. Wait for my 
review before coding. I just really like to say those things. And you don't really have to, but I'm just, you know. No, I understand. I do that often too, because sometimes it starts, it kicks off before I meant. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's eager. And, and I've seen you know, yeah. some tools and it's, you know, it's fine. I, I like, I'd rather, just like with someone who I work with, I'd rather them be eager and, and want to get right to it than For sure. uh, have to prompt them and push them to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll go back to, to Zed. Yeah, I, I do the same with the be verbose or be detail or because, yeah, exactly. uh, you know. And you, you can kind of like, you know, you can go into a lot of detail with that, right? Uh, or, or you can be very explicit even about what things you want to be very detailed on. Okay, so we can he see here, it's going to use Python, it's going to use Rich, it's going to use Arg parse. That's great. Gives us the file structure, gives us the which components to use and how they're going to work, uh, you know, logic flow it's kind of giving us all these things you know what goes into requirements um this is fine i you know in, in a more real example even in the vibe world i'd probably have it go into even more detail but uh you know for for time's sake we'll we'll stick to that and then i will go back to the terminal and this is the other thing i do and again there's like mcps to help with this and whatnot but it's good to understand like the, the basic flow looks good now let's create a detailed task plan and save it to save it to plan.md and you know call these whatever you want i just like arch and plan it's generally what i use um include in the plan.md some workflow um general i'll say general workflow flow uh let's see update plan.md when each task is completed with implementation notes. And I do this, for instance, because you know, I don't, the session itself uh, with the Gemini C line will include, you know, we'll kind of build up with everything it's done. But what if I like close it out and want to come back to it another day? I want as much continuity as possible with what it's done. So I'll have it, you know, uh, you know um, update arch.md with any um design changes etc um and then um i will review and then we'll start okay so now it's going to create a, t a task plan and you know this is often where there's a lot of great mcps for this uh like shrimp and things like that um, but i almost always do this explicitly because i want this a, a really great record of everything done and here we can see it's uh, going through. Uh, we can says we can review it. So we'll go back to Zed. And so we have plan.md. Okay, so it has some stuff up, up, up top, you know, follow the plan, update things, so on and so forth. Um, you notice it'll pause for my review and approval. Um, great. And then number one, you know, the, the scaffolding, the viewer class, the executable script, so on and so forth. And then, you know, it has a section for implementation notes. Great. So now we'll go back to the terminal. Let's do step one. And you can see I'm kind of enthusiastic with it. By the way, one thing that's really fun, and we'll do that, uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second here, is oftentimes I ask um, the AI to talk to me in, a, in more um, uh, colloquial ways. Mm. So it's real fast here. You can see, okay, so it, it did some scaffolding. So I'll just do ls right within the the browser, or sorry, the the terminal, and you can see it's created set up pi, viewer pi, and so forth, just like it said it would, um, which is great. And so before it actually goes, I'll actually ask it to talk to me more colloquially. So I'll say uh, from here on out, um, address me as. Uh, we'll say Kbro, <laughs> and um, use puns um, uh, liberally. If you just want to make your your uh, life a little bit more fun, <laughs> and so oh, that, that's a good advice, right? It, it becomes really more fun, right? Okay, so I can say, all right, Kbro, consider it done. I'll make sure my responses are of the highest quality. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could do it with like C++ compilers when they give me those errors that I can barely parse myself. Then, okay. 
And even like, I love this, like we're using the rich library. It says it's time to make this code look rich. So it's going to save this in uh, the Gemini memory for me. And I'll say yes, um, which is really nice. And now it's going to move on to task two and that I'll find remarkable, uh, which is just hilarious. Uh, and here is, of course, for instance, you know, sometimes these AI agents will not find a, uh, we'll have a, a problem the first time trying to um, edit a file. So it'll just go fix that real fast. And uh, there we go. Um, and then we're ready to move on. So yeah, sh shall I get that started, Kbro? Well, let's first off, let's just look at, um, one thing I want to show you is what it's done to the implementation file or the plan file. And here you can see yeah. the, it gave a little checkbox next to task one. It gave a little checkbox next to task two. And in the implementation notes, it's it said what it did, uh, which is really nice. We can actually exit in and we can tell it, start with the next task, you know, review the plan, review the architecture, so on and so forth, which is really nice. I love it because I, I know I use those save chat with the tag things, like when I want to preserve the conversation with, mm -hmm. with Gem, like Gemini CLI itself. Mm -hmm. But I love, love the fact that you also actually preserve this whole flow in the, in the project structure. I want, and, I want it all there, so I, I don't have to worry about um, saving the chat. And I can go to another computer then, right? I, I true. Save, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I can bring it down. And I, I can't do that as easily, right? Um, now, for instance, you notice they included the Gemini MD file that it edited to talk to me, call me Cabro and use puns. Mm -hmm. That also is something I can float around. But that kind of thing is different than like my project architecture, right? Uh, yeah, true. I can say, um, go for it. And it'll start doing text, task three. And, uh, you know, it's, and we, we kind of keep going this way. Um, I don't know what we have for time, but we have, uh, let's see, how many tasks were there? There were five altogether. Um, so we're on three. That's about done. I think we have time for all five. Uh, let's just keep going. Let's just say, yeah. Let's yeah, I think we're good. And it'll be interesting to see if it even works, right? Because, um, you know, the first time it might not. And I'll, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. So I can show you some um, some ways to do like error handling, uh, error handling, um, like deal with like you vibe something out and doesn't work and all those kinds of things. Um, OK, so now it's done with that. Uh, am I ready to see it all come together? Um, it's asking about step five. I'll say yes. Uh, and we'll, you know, this is the final stage. I'm so curious. Drum roll. <laughs> and there's some things it didn't do, right? Like, uh, you know, it, it, it hasn't set up a, a virtual end or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we'll see whether or not that causes some problems, for instance. And so it wants to do um, turn MD view into a executable. And now it wants to try this out and execute it. I actually, I generally don't have the CLI execute uh, in line. And so instead of doing that, I'll just take this command here and I'll open up a new terminal window. Okay, cool. So I'll paste that in, MD view, test.md. Let's see if it can break. Oh, no, it didn't break. It worked. Um, so you can see here's bold text, italics text, inline code. Um, you know, I can, I'm using the arrow keys to go back and forth. I'm hitting space to see all that work. You know, the, and so all done. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. An example of vibe coding something, 